off your farm. I've been here for since the time before my grandfather's. Well, you're dead. But it doesn't matter because the UN's the good guys because they're fighting some guy named Coney who pretty much doesn't exist like bin Laden. They love Phantom Boogeyman because they can later just kill some black guy and say that's him on the news. And they may be gearing up for that as some new psyop like the bin Laden thing. So this is what's going on. And by playing on extreme ignorance, uh, that's how the system gets all of this done. So I want to challenge all of you uh, to go get the videos that we've shot, the articles we've written on this subject, and to intensify uh, your operations as well on the issue of impeaching Obama. In fact, let me just go to Infowars.com here to give you the actual headline. We've been writing articles about this since last Wednesday. Um, you know, Pentagon announces UN coup over America, uh, articles like that. But we have an article at Infowars.com detailing that impeachment against Obama has been introduced with the bill number and the rest of it. And it's finally getting picked up by places like World Net Daily. Obama impeachment bill now in Congress. Representative Walter B. Jones of North Carolina has introduced a resolution declaring that should the president use offensive military force without authorization or an act of Congress, it is the sense of the Congress that such an act would be impeachable, high crime, and misdemeanor. It violates Article 1, Section 8, Clause 11. Again, you're like, Alex, you've been covering this since last Wednesday. I know, but World Net Daily's getting around to covering it now. Others are getting around to covering it. And we need to push this over the edge. I, 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 look, if he gets away with this, first it had to be a declaration of war. Then they had to authorize it. Then the president had to at least talk to Congress, even though that's still violating the law. And now he says, look, I follow the UN's orders. I mean, let's really let that burn in. That actually is happening now. And you notice where Angelina Jolie wants to be a boss is at the UN because she's been told that's going to be the new boss over this country. That's the new consortium that the big mega banks run. By the way, uh, this is all UN Agenda 21 UNESCO garbage. CBS News reporting incoming UC students may be asked to declare their sexual orientation and not allowed to be in college. See, they're going to be the sex police under all this. And then continuing, and if you're heterosexual and have a crime committed against you, you don't get the same protections. Bill introduced to regulate men's reproductive health. Now, if men want to uh, get Viagra or anything else before getting a prescription for Viagra, for Viagra or other erectile dysfunction drugs, men would have to see a sex therapist, receive a cardiac stress test, and get notarized affidavit signed by a sexual partner affirming in impotency. This is the kind of laws they're trying to pass. Senate Bill 307. So see, this is the sex police, folks. They want to be involved in every facet of your life. We'll be right back. All right, we are now into hour number two. We're going to take 20, 30 minutes of your calls, and Patrick Henningsen is going to be joining us in studio. He happened to catch some TSA uh, abuse on his way to Austin. Patrick Henningsen, writer for InfoWars.com. I've already covered a bunch of news, but I've got uh, a lot of other important news we're going to be getting into coming up. Sarkozy threatens to pull France from Europe. Visa free zone. Germany's threatening to leave the Euro. People are now being arrested with $1 million warrants and locked up for weeks for selling raw milk and stuff. I mean, it's getting crazy. Uh, meanwhile, uh, companies are allowed to sell you pink slime to school children. It's very toxic. I'm not making this up. Uh, we're going to go over uh, all of this coming up. But right now, let's go to Eddie in Wisconsin. Eddie, welcome. Alex, how you doing today, brother? Pretty good, my friend. Hey, I just want to let you know, uh, up here in Wisconsin, man, we are alive and we are waking up, man. I just want to let you know that I'm spreading the word to everybody, friends, family, people on the street. Listen to Alex Jones. He knows what's going on, man. I just want to know we support you in Wisconsin, brother. Well, I want you to know that as this show explodes, I do it as a responsibility and as a sacred honor, and I do the best I can, and I am humbled. And I want everybody to know as this show explodes in size, it's I'm basically flying into the Death Star, so... 
Uh, a, lo a lot of folks envy me and hate me because of that. Uh, not my listeners, but their host and people. They need to understand this is a great danger I'm in, and I'm only alive because of your prayers and the grace of God, and I am in God's hands. But uh, there's a lot of attacks going on against me because I am now a figurehead of liberty, whether I like it or not, and quite frankly, I don't. Uh, but uh, know this, the truth is going forth thanks to people like you, and we're not going to be stopped as long as we're bold in the face of this evil. I'm awake, down with the New World Order, and I say my prayers for you every day, brother. You keep rocking, all right? I need it. God bless you. I, you know, I've asked God to protect me, and God's told me, people make fun of that, but you know, my discernment, then you've got to totally commit and get really hardcore the things you know are dangerous. Because even though you say you've got courage and don't care and don't have fear, you've been holding back, Jones. Well, not anymore. Not holding back anymore, okay? I've got all sorts of media operations I can throw at the globalist. I know how their system works, and I have been lazy. Years ago, I tried to stay small and actually fly under the radar. It was a form of subconscious cowardice that I have now psychoanalyzed myself, and I will not be part of. I will not be a coward. I will 110% engage the globalist. And I want you to do that as well. We're going to go to break and come back in the long segment. Go to Tony, Perry, Michael, Dylan, and others that are patiently holding. Then we got Patrick Henningsen coming on. We'll continue with calls uh, when Sean Stone's on with us. We'll just have a geopolitical discussion about the world. He is joining us via Skype, correct? Did we ever check that out and confirm that? Good. You know, I could have got Sean on. Speaking of how I don't ever really try to game the media, I know him well. I'm, I'm in the upcoming conspiracy theory show with him, and I knew he was talking about, to me, converting to Islam, Shia Islam. Uh, and I had his home number, Skype, everything when he made the big announcement. Of course, he'd actually contacted me right before he made the announcement. For some reason, I just didn't jump on it, and didn't have him make the announcement of his conversion to Islam here on my show. Whatever reason, I just a lot of times, even though I know something's gonna be a big media event, I just I just don't touch it for whatever reason. And then now is the time to get Sean on after he's been on O'Reilly and you know probably I don't know like a hundred different shows. I mean he's been everywhere, uh, and uh, but I'm getting him on. I'm getting him on about uh, what he saw in Iran. Not, not even so much about his uh, conversion to Islamic faith, Islam. All right, we'll be right back. The websites are infowars.com and prisonplanet.tv. This is the GCN Radio Network, GCNlive.com. Stay with us. Through Friday from 11 a.m. to 2 p.m. Central, that's 12 noon to 3 p.m. Eastern. We're here live on the radio, simulcasting in living video color at prisonplanet.tv. I'm about to go right back to your phone calls, but I want to give folks a state of the info war report here in just about 60 seconds. For eight months, we've had InfoWars nightly news. We've beta tested the equipment. Uh, we've gotten a lot of our crew hired, uh, and we have not missed one show in eight months, weeknight, 7 o'clock. And the next time we uh, take a pit stop, like we're about to do for the next week and a half, two weeks, We'll probably never be able to take a break again. I've got to get a few people hired. Uh, I've got to put in some new equipment. And, and we were going to try to have our skeleton crew uh, uh, basically... Well, that phone really is rattling, isn't it? It's man cow. Can't call him during a, during a radio interview. Anyways, getting back to what I was saying... We have had tremendous uh, success. It's gone very well. Uh, we're already picked up in the major cable system in England without even trying. A lot of cable systems are already picking it up here. So the next time we do a pit stop, we won't be able to because it's, 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 we've got to get the satellite link and all this other stuff set up. I've got to get two or three more people and then get them trained. I mean, it's a real growth curve when you're doing all this from scratch, uh, as we've done, and really reinventing the wheel in a way. Uh, so for the next two weeks or so, we're going to have a few live shows on the, on the nightly news. We're going to have some special reports like the big Dave Mustaine interview. But because I've only got like four or five guys on the whole TV show, I need them to revamp graphics, do the, do the interviews and the resumes, 
train people. I've got to shoot a video uh, that is going to be a promo uh, for a contest I'm going to have to hire one or two uh, new reporters. Uh, so I've just got to pull into the pit stop for a minute to get new tires and you know gas in the uh, Formula One race car here to get it back on the road. I, in fact, I intended to go about two months and then have a week or two hiatus, but we just got so caught up in the treadmill and the special reports and the guests and everything we're doing uh, that I never did it. So we're, we're eight months into this. Uh, I would like to, by uh, April or even before April, be able to revamp and relaunch. And then we'll go about four or five months again and then be done and actually formulate the show down to a set amount of time. You know, right now, some nights it's two hours long. Other nights it's 45 minutes. It's going to be a set time. I've got to figure all that out. And then we'll have one more short pit stop for about a week when the show is officially launched. And then we can never stop. So um, and even Glenn Beck launched his TV show, and then most days it isn't even a new show. With us, it's been eight months straight of nothing but new, new shows uh, every evening. So again, for the next two weeks, we're going to take a pit stop. Uh, and uh, well, I mean, there'll be the Dave Mustaine interview, a couple of uh, shows where I have big guests booked, and I'll, I will be doing it. But most nights it'll be old special reports, special compilations, and other things uh, at prisonplanet.tv where all my films are posted. Uh, where almost nine years of material are, uh, and so much more. And there will be other special reports that will also air. So it'll be like a special report instead of the nightly news uh, that you'll see. So a lot of it will be new. Some of it will just be compilations of old stuff that we've aired. So that's coming up in the next two weeks. And then uh, you'll see a relaunch uh, of the news. It's been a giant success, and we couldn't have done it without you. And we have the 15-day free trial running if you do want to be a PrisonPlanet.tv member. Okay, Tony in New York. Welcome, sir. Good to have you here with us today. How's it going? Pretty good, sir. Yeah, it's good. I don't even know really where to start. So, uh, basically, um, I I saw that you had talked about the Enterprise heading off to Iran, and um, I don't know if it made national news or not. I'm up near Syracuse. I'm pretty sure this was the same ship, but uh, there was a, I think there was the Admiral or the second in command, I think it was of the Enterprise. He got lambasted probably six months a year ago. They, they had a whole big deal about him... Uh, you know, making videos and sexually harassing people or something. It was like a training video. It was supposed to be humorous or something. And I'm not really sure of the details. Well, all I know I is they love to blow up ships. At Pearl Harbor, it was a bunch of battleships about to be decommissioned. They tied them up, had their carriers go and hide. Japanese subs attacked an hour before. They were still ordered to stand down. That's on record. It's not in any of the movies and stuff, but five subs attacked. One of them's at uh, the, the Pacific War Museum in Fredericksburg, and they just admit it there. But it's, it's hidden in plain view. An hour and 15 minutes before, the, the, the subs start attacking, and still the base was told to stand down. I mean, it's admitted there. It's an incredible museum, by the way. They got, they got uh, the shells of you know, Fat Boy, uh, the uh, A-bomb. I mean, it, it's, it's, it's one of the best military museums I've ever seen. Uh, out in Fredericksburg. But that said, hidden in plain view is one of the midget subs that attacked. And everybody's like, wait, it attacked an hour plus before with four other subs, but still nobody knew that the Japanese attack was coming. 